um, the Memory Maker or the Photo Pass program. Um, and so I bought this before we left because when we have been, to, we'd never been to Disney World, the girls and I, we'd never been to Disney World before, but we had been to Disneyland before Dorothy existed at all. Um, we'd been to Disneyland and we had gotten it then. And, um, and so I knew that they took really great pictures. Um, so I did it, plus knowing I do pictures all the time. <laughs> I said that'd be a worthwhile purchase. All right, um, yeah. So you just see these Disney people with their cameras and you just can like can you know get either get in line or just ask them to take some pictures. So yeah, there were some really fun ones um that they can do because they add um the little special effects that they can add in. Oh, I gotta sign back in. That's funny. Oh, that's amazing. Um so we've got um we got that. Uh, so we, anytime we'd see somebody, well, and by the end, I'll be, the girls would be like, enough pictures. <laughs> 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 no more, mom. Um, so, oh, and it redid all my, I'll reset it. Um, and so, yeah, and they, you know, there was some different, the different locations and they have different special effects based on where they were. Um, and Oh, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to re redo it. So it looks like we'll be going backwards uh, if it won't reset um, my order. Oh, it did. Good. So try to get back to that one. Um, but yeah, we definitely saw a lot of princesses too. A lot of characters. This one was um, cute because the girls, some of the older girls, you know, at first they're like, "No, we don't want to meet anybody," uh, but then they started getting into that more especially when they would see some of their favorite um characters from when they were younger from their favorite shows or cartoons um and so that was um that was neat to see them get excited and yeah actually I haven't looked at this one in detail yet because you don't know what they're doing they just say look here or look surprised or like for this one, put your hand out and you don't know until you get the pictures later as to what they're going to do or put oh, that's in there. amazing. I love that. Oh, it was fun. Um, so um, we, we obviously were in Star Wars, the Star Wars part a lot. So we're still on day one here. Um, but we, we arrived Sunday and um, just checked in and like did the pool and um stuff like that um and then went to disney springs and i have my mini-esque swimsuit <laughs> that i got <laughs> um and this where we stayed for those who are familiar um pop century so um just big um stuff from the 50s um, 50s or 60s through the 90s they kind of decorated each of this areas with that um and it was it was fun. And then they have the Skyliner. That was why we chose that one. That can take you to um, it goes to two of the four parks directly from the Pop Century, and then the other two parks you take buses. So here's us at our first ride on the Skyliner. We were just kind of exploring, figuring out how to get to the different places, and popped around to a couple of the different resorts, and they have different modes of transportation for other resorts so we kind of just explored some of that um and had to go to where we could get a, a dole whip so one of the resorts um had dole whip so we got that um for us to all enjoy while we were running out and about and then we went to disney springs which used to be downtown disney um just kind of looked around a bit and there was live music and the Lego store has all these. And there's a Lego store where we are as well. But we certainly don't have, this was made of Lego, uh, this giant Loch Ness monster. <laughs> and they have all the Star Wars things and the princess things all made out of Lego. Um, so things like that, that we did the first day. And um, then on the Monday, got up nice and early and went um so every day we ended up at the parks from either early entry 
or if we didn't quite make it to early entry because I had some stragglers, if I didn't have these three with me, I'd have been there before early entry every day. <laughs> and we stayed till close um, every day because um, we had considered going back to the hotel, um, you know, because it was brutally hot. But, um, by you know, by the time you get in, back to where the transportation is and um, get to your go back to your hotel and and then back again it's it'd probably be at least an hour and i you know by that point we had different dining reservations and different ride reservations and things like that so we just kept finding different things um in, inside to do or ice cream or things like that to help beat the heat um but on day one i was in total heaven because with all the star wars stuff um, so for those who don't know, very much into Star Wars, my husband and I, um, many years ago for our wedding was kind of a Star Wars themed reception. Um, I have four brothers and so all four of them, I got them a lightsaber and they, we did like a sword arch entry, um, to get, uh, I mean, lightsaber entry to come into the reception and we had, Leia and Han on top of our cake, um, and things like that. So, uh, definitely into this. So when I got here and it was early entry, so it was, I mean, basically we had Star Wars land, <laughs> as I called it, almost completely to ourselves for that first half hour or so. Um, and I was just in heaven, like, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this, look at this. And, um, the girls were getting a kick out of me having such a fun time with that um as you can see <laughs> i very much liked it um and then we went to um the different star wars rides the first one was rise of the resistance which was totally amazing um oh and we got to meet some star wars characters too which was really nice um while we were waiting for rise of the resistance um we do it Toy Story Land was really close by. Um, so we did that while we were waiting. And if I can get one of the, this little video, if it'll, I don't know if the sound will work, but um, this is inside on the way to the quote ride part. And those are all stormtroopers um, and this huge, you know, Imperial ship. Cause we got quote captured. We were rebels and we got captured. Um, so that was just, just to be able to see it, it was really cool. Um, so we did all that through the day, and Toy Story stuff, um, met Dorothy. That was her main thing. She wanted to meet as many characters as she could. So um, she met Mrs. Incredible, and this one was one of our favorites um, because Frozone took her by the hand and walked and skipped down... Um, down this little lane, um, pointing out uh, Jack Jack, um, and she had her autograph book and was getting autographs um, from everybody she could. <laughs> um, and um, oh, they were trying to like get Jack Jack's attention or whatever. But he spent, you know, the, he spent a lot of time with her. It was really cute. Um, and that was our favorite. And afterwards, Dorothy said that he was her least favorite. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so um, then we also got to meet, we got to meet Ariel twice, actually. So we got to meet live action Ariel. And then we also got to meet um, cartoon Ariel later on. I think she was at a different park. Um, and... Um, so we had some fun dining reservations. This one, um, which this was the best milkshake I ever had in my life. It was so good. I got to look up some Disney hack recipes. Um, maybe it's because we were tired and hot and hungry, but it was so good. Uh, but it was, I don't think this picture will quite do it uh, because it was, you know, it's a dark room, but it's basically like uh, a a drive-in movie theater and so your little table was the car and you were facing the screen to watch little movie clips um and like a you know the 
bellhop coming to your car table to bring you your stuff. It was really cute. Um, and we had a couple of really good experiences like that um, with with our restaurants, um, which I had picked completely based on theming. Um, people were talking about, oh, that food isn't good. I'm like, you can get good food anywhere, but you can't experience certain things like that anywhere. So that's how I picked our little dining reservations. Um, and it, everything's themed, you know, for those of you who've been to Disney, um, everything's themed up as much as possible. And so, like, here's the little green army men. We got to see them marching by um, in Toy Story Land. And uh, we went on Slinky Dog, um, the Slinky Dog roller coaster. This was kind of a picture of what it what it was, the Slinky Dog Dash, I think it was. Um, Dorothy is not into roller coasters, so we always did the parent swap for those. And uh, it's a funny story. Literally every single ride we went to, Dorothy would say, this isn't a roller coaster, is it? Or I don't want to ride roller coasters. We'd go, Dorothy, we will not make you ride. <laughs> we will not make you ride a roller coaster. Um, literally every ride, like we would say for the millionth time, <laughs> if it's a roller coaster, we won't make you ride it. And if it wasn't a roller coaster, she still would be like, I don't want to ride it. I'm like, you'll like it. You'll like it. And there was a couple of rides where she did not want to ride. And I made her ride it. And she said, I want to ride it again. So um, the mean mom got, got some extra fun for her out of it. Um, one of the reservations we had made was at Olga's Cantina. This is another favorite. Um, so like the Cantina Bar in... Uh, Star Wars. It was really, it was really neat. Um, it was air conditioned, which was great. Um, and they had some silly fun drinks, which had boba in it that they called frog eggs. Um, and uh, they had a droid that was playing the music and um, just, yeah, just really neat theming. It looks like, a, there we go. There's the frog eggs in the drink. Um, let's see if there's any other good ones. They got a little snack, um, with the frog eggs and the, it was the popping candy. Um, that was what these were. And then the boba and then some more popping candy. So just really fun stuff like that. Um, some more Toy Story. So we were basically in those two lands a lot, uh, cause those are where some favorites were, where some different rides reservations were stormtroopers just walking around um and got to meet darth vader and chewy and bb8 um some more um character meet and greets um this 50s cafe you got yelled at if you were using your phone at the table um you had to set the table yourself um no elbows on the table please and thank yous. So that was a fun, cute 50s themed restaurant. Um, I'll have to get the potato land thing. Apparently that's a TikTok trend. Uh, and that was a big part of Lorena's day was doing this potato land video. And I don't have, I keep telling her, send me your completed TikTok video. Um, but it was really funny and silly um, thing that they did. And then Dorothy and I, we were copying, doing it after them. And we have to put ours together because I'm not doing it in the TikTok thing. But I was just going to do like a campaign. <laughs> um, it's just this random little thing in what must have been an old um, um, gift shop. And for, somehow on TikTok, it's gotten to be this thing that this is a big place to come visit a Disney World. Um, we saw a lot of shows. Uh, at the, the first day we saw this was a, a Frozen show with some uh, comedy bits in it. It was pretty, it was pretty funny. And the Muppets, um, a 3D show at the Muppets, that was you know, definitely fun. Um, I think they said that the show, it hasn't changed in like 30 years or something. And it was still just hilarious. Um, as the Muppets are. Um, in addition to the heat, there was rain, 
But the first day it wasn't bad at all, and we got a rainbow. That was really cool. Um, and uh, some more Star Wars, of course, and then the Fantasmic show at the end of the night. Um, then I got them up early the next day. Uh, and so the next day was Magic Kingdom. And this was definitely, for me, the of the four, the hardest, the worst day. Um, cause it was hot and then it rained for about half the day from about like 1130 till about like four, four thirty five, maybe including like thunderstorms and lightning and everything. Oh, it was pretty miserable. And the little stroller we had brought for Dorothy, um, because there is a lot of walking and I can deal better with pushing a stroller than dealing with whining. So I brought the stroller for her. Um, it got soaked. So we just had to bring it around with us and park it using it as a bag carrier because it was soaked. She couldn't go in it. Um, but one thing that they were so excited about is the Bippity Boppity Boutique. Apparently that had been one of Grace and Lorena's favorite things when we went to Disneyland eight years ago. And we couldn't get reservations. It was booked. Um, and I was fine with that because it was expensive. But Doris Grace said, can we just go see if we can go in? I said, all right, go ask. And they went first thing in the morning and they had openings. So I was like, okay, get out the credit card. <laughs> and um, all three of them did it. They were right next to each other. Their three fairy godmothers were right next to each other. Um, one, two, and Grace was over here at three. Um, they got their hair done in a matching style and they got their matching t-shirts as part of the um package which i got the cheapest package and it wasn't still wasn't cheap <laughs> but they had a great time um and then the rest of the time everybody was like oh look at the princesses look at the princesses and all of them had their hair in it yeah, they had that they could keep that hair due the rest of the trip so i was like all right that was a good that was a good purchase um and they had a great time. And Dorothy, actually, she still has hers up. She's not taking it out yet. Um, it's like, okay, it's a little loose now. I think it's time to take it out. No, not yet, Mom. So that was really, that's been really fun and cute. Um, let me see if I can switch over to the, they got a, a picture, picture session. How do I get back? Um, back to gallery. So as part of it, right afterwards, you can go like quote across the street. Um, and oh yeah, seven dwarves. And so the photographer was there taking pictures throughout. And they did the big reveal and everybody announcing Princess Grace, Dorothy Lorraine, whichever as they finished. And uh, everybody in the room claps. Um, and then afterwards, yeah, they got this little photo session. Um, with their accessories with their favorite princess. So while this was not on my radar for something to do, and it did take quite a bit of time, um, like an hour and a half to, uh, start to finish, like from when we first walked in till they were totally done. Um, but it was one of their favorites and obviously they're super, super cute and themed them up for the rest of their trip. So that was fun. Um, Back to gallery. I gotta click the right button here. Um, and then, yeah, lots of princess meet and greets um, throughout. This was the other aerial that we had met. Um, and they had, um, we got to go to meet, um, Be well, we kind of met Beast because we went to, that was one of our. Uh, that was our splurge was we went to be our guest, um, which they didn't have a photographer there, which was surprising. But at be our guest, um, th th that beast comes around while you're eating and it's in the big, uh, there's either the big dining hall with the, that was the ballroom or there was also two side rooms of the Rose Room or the West Wing um, with like thunder and lightning and stuff. Um, so that was that was fun as well. Um, then we did, so we stayed there till close also, um, 
uh, the picture in front of the castle at the end of the night. Um, and then the third day we went to Epcot. And um, so we kind of bounced around to all the different countries that they have at Epcot. Um, not as much as I would have wanted to. But we did obviously get a few pictures, of course, at some of the countries, China and Italy and France, because uh, Lorena, she was determined she wanted to get to, uh, after we rode the frozen ride, she wanted to get over to France to get um, to do the Remy ride, which ended up being another favorite. Um, we rode that a couple of times and then we had lunch in France. We went to a creperie, um, which was fun. And then after that, over to the science side, uh, saw Nemo and um, Crush, the turtle from Finding Nemo. Um, Lorena and I rode Guardians of the Galaxy, which was amazing, super fun. Um, the day before we had ridden the new ride Tron, that was also really fun. Um, and um, let's see for my other ones. What else did we do that day? Um, this was for all oh, this is from be our guest. We all brought changes of clothes for our fancy meal. So we have dresses or skirts. We just changed um, right before we we got there, uh, which was nice then since it had rained. <laughs> At least I had the clothes in a plastic bag. So uh, most of them were dry. Um, and here's the the be our guest. Um, location so our our room in the ballroom i mean our table in the ballroom um and they even had for dessert let me see if i've got a picture of it yeah that was an issue with the girls with their phones i'm like put your phones away <laughs> um there was beast um so he we were there so long that he came by, I think, four times while we were there. Um, I have some slow eaters in the family. Um, so, yeah, we had plenty of time. Let me go scroll down. Oh, yeah. And I was, uh, I had to do the thing like Belle and Beast did, drinking their soup from the bowl. <laughs> um, and everybody loved their meal. It was all really good. And um, so, for the dessert, was for me the favorite. And for the kids' dessert, uh, they had a, little chip um little teacup chip that dorothy got to paint it was edible paint and white chocolate and this was the gray stuff and it really was delicious so and this was our dessert plate um and that was that was my favorite their dessert was really really good um so then the next day we went to um our last park which was animal kingdom and we had a lot of fun there um and um we we just you know same thing went around met as many of the princesses and characters as we could um they have a couple of really good rides um and we met um i guess we're still in epcot on this one but they this was uh they, these characters were kind of behind the scenes um they kind of only pulled certain people over to meet um Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And it was because, let me zoom in, because of these socks that Grace happened to be wearing that day that she had pulled up. Um, so I was like, oh, that was great. I was so glad she wore those. So we got to meet the special characters that were not out in the general public. Um, oh, this was one of the restaurants that we did. I know I'm running out of time. I'll talk and scroll faster. Um, that was the space restaurant that I had picked also for the theming um, that you go up this, this elevator that takes you up into space and then you get to look down at Earth from, from that and you see all the astronauts go by and different spacecraft um, out the window from your space meal. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Um, also the kids, that was, I think Dorothy said that was one of her favorite things. Um, and then and we stayed for the show um at the end of the night there and then the next morning to animal kingdom um and the tree of life 
and there were some really we went on a safari and uh, went to dinosaur land and um, there was this bird show that we just happened to be there at the right time um, with um, I think they were macaws and they said that it was the largest um, one of the largest uh, numbers of them in one spot um, so it was it was and they're trained um, it was really cool to see and the safari we got to see a lot of different animals um, that was a lot of fun um, and Dorothy they all got to pick one souvenir and this is what Dorothy picked this avatar tail um, and the funny story about this is that um, if, if the if the picture will catch up um, that she did not like the 3D ride um, or 4D ride that we did for Avatar until she got this because we wrote it and we're like Dorothy open your eyes this is so fun it's you're not going to fall this and that and then after she got the tail right afterwards at the gift shop then she wanted to go back and then it became her favorite ride from the whole trip <laughs> so that was hilarious um, and really neat um, so I got to see a lot of animals at Animal Kingdom and they have really neat theming there too. Um, it was super hot there as well. Uh, but we did get to go on a water ride and we got to see an indoor show. Uh, so it had air conditioning and we had a reservation at a restaurant. So that was indoors and air conditioned. So we get to do little things like that. Um, we went on an animation uh, drawing um, class we did that briefly there was a petting zoo the girls got to meet the um i forget its name the pig which was the inspiration for the pig in moana uh that is the pig that is the one that they they um fashioned it after drew it after um and then tree of life and restaurant and this one closed at six which was great this park closed at six versus like nine or ten which was great because we had to get home and pack um before we had to head out the next morning so so then that's us the uh this was my i picked this shirt on purpose the trip was over in a flash is what that was um and then beautiful sunrise that we got to watch on the way home um and the girls slept of course and then i was back at work friday morning so um that was our that was our trip our first foray to disney world and um sharana i would recommend the winter if you're able to go in you know january february i would recommend that because it's so warm um and i don't think it's the rainy season either so um aside from the heat and the rain that one day we had a really really good time it was our first trip in like five years i think um the last time we had actually traveled farther than like a two-hour car trip um <laughs> so we went big yeah you did <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah so there's that's why I only sent a sampling um, in the email because I was like, I don't even know how to pick to put a couple in. So I'll just pick a few from Star Wars area. <laughs> yeah, so there I we think go. Just <laughs> so great. It made me smile the whole time you were talking, Mary. Me I'm so too. happy for you guys. <laughs> yeah, me too. You're definitely the fun mom. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't think they would agree. I was like, come on, come on, let's go eat that breakfast. We got to get yeah. going. And then the, now let's, we've written this. Let's go to the next thing. <laughs> but we packed a lot in. We sure packed a lot in. So those yeah. are memories, so many memories for a lifetime, you know? That yes. You'll all be able to point back and say, remember when I had those socks on and then the characters <laughs> came over, you know? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Did you I missed the beginning. Did you go on Space Mountain? Do they still have it? They do. And when Lorena <laughs> and I went to ride it, um, it was they were under not under construction, but you know, oh, yeah. some of the rides go down every once in a while. So we're yeah, like, ah, yeah. shucks. And we didn't ever get back to it. So 
Wow, you didn't miss anything, I don't think. Okay. I think like in the <laughs> 70s and the 80s, like when it yeah. was like the big thing at Disney, like now it's like a tinker toy and it's like, whoa! I was funny. Yeah, it doesn't compare to any of those other ones. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, well, and since you're also here, I'll show that. So, and on Facebook, I would do a post. So, getting ready because I didn't tell people on Facebook that we were going. So it was like surprise. Yeah, probably good. And then we did a. Um, uh, I did a day by day thing uh, each night, no matter how tired I was, like eleven thirty five at night, midnight, oh whatever. <laughs> I did uh, just a quick like snapshot of what we did, who we saw. Um, if I had had time to do a quick Facebook post, I would have just been like, ah, and put some pictures because I was in heaven. Um, so, yeah, so I did that each day so that I would have my memories going forward year by year um, also. And uh, this was Dorothy's um, autograph book oh, yeah. that we made um, so she could get her pictures. So, yeah. yeah. That's so fun. And there we are. <laughs> Mary, My how cousins. old are your girls? <laughs> yeah. They are 6, 12, and 15. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So it was good. Yeah, that was one of the reasons I decided to do it because we'd been thinking about doing it for a long time, um, planned to do it before COVID, and then yeah. couldn't do it. Um, and then other things occurred, uh, which made it impossible. And then Chris really isn't into i mean he would have gone with us it would have been fine but um it was fine for him to stay home too and so this worked out that the girls and i could go and go before lorena graduates and while it's still yeah. magical for dorothy so uh, yeah 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 it was good it was good yeah thank you so oh. much for doing this mary oh yeah, thanks really for having me. <laughs> yeah thank you mary that was fun <laughs> I loved it. It made me so happy. Oh, me wonderful. <laughs> uh, thank you. And um, yeah, now we got to get back on with our Friday, I guess. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for letting me share. It was really 